Hi boys and girls, it's me, Miss Jen. I'm so excited to share this next activity that I have with you. We are going to be making binoculars out of toilet paper rolls. I see you. Okay, boys and girls, so we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna need are two toilet paper rolls. Mom and dad, I thought you would appreciate that we are using these in this activity. The next thing that you're gonna need is something to decorate your binoculars. I chose paint. I use blue because blue is my favorite color, uh, but you can also use crayons, you can use markers, you can use colored pencils. Really, it's whatever you would like to use. Um, you're also going to need a hole punch to punch holes, and you're going to need some string to make the cord. I chose to use three colors of string, but you can use just one, that's fine. You're gonna need some scissors so that you can cut the string. I have some stickers that I'm gonna put on mine. Um, if you do choose to use paint like I did, you're gonna want a cup with water to rinse your brush, maybe a um, paper towel or a napkin too to help with that. And then you're gonna need some kind of glue to attach the toilet paper rolls together. I uh, used a glue gun. Boys and girls, you would need the help of your mom and dad if you are using a glue gun because it gets very, very hot at the end, just like we've talked about in art class. Um, you can use glue sticks um, or you could even use packing tape if you would like. Really, there are a lot of different options for attaching these. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your toilet paper roll and your hole punch. I have my super fun Mickey Mouse hole punch. Mom and dad, you're probably gonna have to do this part for them. Gonna go ahead and punch your hole. I already have this one done here. So you get your hole punched on each of your toilet paper rolls. And then you're gonna go ahead and start decorating it however you would like. Again, you can paint. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can wrap string around them if you would like. There are lots and lots of possibilities. So also when you're painting these, just know you're gonna get paint on your hands and that's okay. Um, you're holding on to the toilet paper roll, so you're probably gonna get a little messy. Um, Mom and dad, you may wanna have the kids in a paint shirt or um, just in clothes that can get messy if you are using paint. And also, you will see that I did put a bag underneath so that my counter doesn't get really messy. So once you have them painted, you'll go ahead and sit your paper towel rolls down, or sorry, toilet paper rolls down to dry. And then I'm using the glue stick so I have to, or the hot gun, hot glue gun. So I have to plug that in so that it gets nice and hot. So while I'm waiting for that to warm up, I will keep painting my other toilet paper roll here while that's warming. I thought this would be a fun project for you to not only make, but play with afterwards. Uh, Mom and Dad, in the link that I sent in the email, you'll find an I Spy worksheet. Um, if if um, the boys and girls would like to, they can, you can print off the worksheet, take the binoculars outside, and see what kind of things you can find with your binoculars while you're outside with Mom and Dad. Okay, so this is all finished. So I will go ahead and check on my, my glue gun is finished. So when you glue these together, you're gonna wanna make sure the hole punch is on the outside and on the same side. So see how those are both on the outside there? You're gonna wanna make sure that it is lined up that way so that you can put your string on. So go ahead and put your glue and then you will stick those together like so. Press those together and then we'll let the the glue dry okay I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this right now too all right so now we have our binoculars are almost finished the next thing you need to do is pick your string if you have siblings that are older that want to help I braided my 
string. Um, so if you do have three pieces and that's something that you want to do and you have an older sibling that likes to braid, that might be a fun way to get them involved in the project too. So when you cut your string, you just want to make sure that it's long enough because you can wear your binoculars around your neck, just like so. See? And then you have them handy all day long so you can spy things, just like I spy you right now. So you're going to want to go ahead and make sure your string is plenty long. Again, mom and dad can help with that. So go ahead and cut your string. Mom and dad, you can help with the cutting too. And then all you'll do is you'll just tie it on each side of the binoculars, just like so. Well, maybe just like so. Doesn't want to tie. Let's see, there we go. Just go ahead and give it a little tie. And then go to the other side. And give it a little tie. And there you go. You have binoculars. And then I have these super cool stickers with all of these really fun places. So I decided that my binoculars need some stickers. I'm actually gonna put them on this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and all around the binoculars, I'm just gonna place some stickers, just like so. And voila, I'm all set. So boys and girls, I hope you had fun with this activity. I hope you can use your binoculars and again, it was so great to spend this time with you. Have a great day. Bye.